RPG Podcast. This episode is Chapter 14, Part 2, Male Pathologies and Procedures. Our first term is one we've heard before, and that is urologist, U-R-O-L-O-G-I-S-T. And a urologist is a specialist in diagnosing and treating diseases and disorders of the male reproductive system as well as the male and female urinary systems. And now we're going to go ahead and look at some pathologies. The first group of pathologies affect the penis. The first one is balanitis, B-A-L-A-N-I-T-I-S. And we have the word part balano. Do you remember what that refers to? Balano refers to the glans penis. So balanitis would mean what? Well, that would be inflammation of the glans penis. The next term is phimosis, P-H-I-M-O-S-I-S. Phimosis is a narrowing of the opening of the foreskin so that it cannot be retracted. The next term is Pyrone's disease, capital P-E-Y-R-O-N-I-E apostrophe S, disease, D-I-S-E-A-S-E. Pyrone's disease is an abnormal curvature of the penis during erection. And finally, we have priapism, P-R-I-A-P-I-S-M. Priapism is a painful erection lasting four hours or more that is not accompanied by sexual excitement. And this is a medical emergency. And if this happens to someone, a uh, man, you should go to the emergency room immediately. If uh, you notice all of the advertisements on television for erectile dysfunction drugs, when they give you the fine print and all the little warnings and stuff, at the end they'll always say, see your doctor if you have a painful erection lasting four hours or more, because that's a bad side effect of those drugs. Again, if it happens, it's a medical emergency. You need to get to the emergency room. Then we have three more pathologies, and these relate to the spermatic cord. The first one is hydrocell, H-Y-D-R-O-C-E-L-E. -E. It has the word part hydro, meaning water or fluid, and cell. And cell, hyphen C-E-L-E, -E, means a swelling. We've also used it to refer to uh, like a hernia, but in this context it's swelling. And this is a fluid-filled sac in the scrotum along the spermatic cord. And one can also have a hydrocell around the testicle itself, just a fluid-filled sac forms. The next term is varicocele, V-A-R-I-C-O-C-E-L-E. -E. And this is a varicose vein in one side of the scrotum. Remember, the spermatic cord has veins running in it that go down and feed the testicle, sometimes one can get a varicose vein. Also pay attention to the spelling on this one. Sometimes it's a little tricky. You'll notice it's got varico in it, which re relates to varicose, and then again it has that suffix cell, C-E-L-E, -E, relating to swelling. And sometimes people get a little ma messed up in leaving out the C-O in varico. They may write it varicel, but that's not correct. It's varicocel. And the third one is spermatocel. S-P-E-R-M-A-T-O-C-E-L-E. -E. A spermatocel is a cyst in the epididymis that's containing a milky white fluid and sperm. Notice this term favors spermato as the word part, with the suffix cell. It's not spermocell, spermatocell. So remember that A-T-O. And then we have 
another group of pathologies that affect the testicles. The first one is anorchism, A-N-O-R-C-H-I-S-M. We have our prefix an, meaning without, orco, referring to testicle, and ism, the suffix, meaning a condition. Anorchism, the absence of one or both testicles. Then we have crypt orchism, C-R-Y-P-T-O. R C H I S M. This has the word part crypto, C R Y P T slash O, which means uh, mysterious, literally. You, you know the term cryptic. If something's cryptic, it's hard to understand. It means hidden or mysterious. Orco, O R C H slash O, again, testicle, and ism condition. Crypt orchism is an undescended testicle. It's, it's mysterious. It's hidden away. That's why it has crypto. Then we have andropause. A-N-D-R-O-P-A-U-S-E. This sometimes is referred to as male menopause, although not exactly the same thing. But andropause is a normal decrease in testosterone output that occurs after age 40. Okay, that's a pretty big group of terms right there. We're going to go back and do just a little bit of review here. What is the term that refers to a painful erection lasting four hours or more that's not accompanied by sexual excitement? That's priapism, P-R-I-A-P-I-S-M. What is the term for a fluid-filled sac in the scrotum that would be along the spermatic cord, or it could be around a testicle? That's the hydrocell, H-Y-D-R-O-C-E-L-E. -E. What is the term for inflammation of the glans penis? That's balanitis, B-A-L-A-N-I-T-I-S. What is the medical term for the absence of one or both testicles? That's anorchism, A-N-O-R-C-H-I-S-M. What is the term for the specialist in diagnosing and treating disorders of the male reproductive system, as well as the male and female urinary system? That's urologist, U-R-O-L-O-G-I-S-T. What is the medical term for an abnormal curvature of the penis during erection? That's Pyrone's disease, capital P-E-Y-R-O-N-I-E, -E, apostrophe S, disease, B-I-S-E-A-S-E. -E. What is the term for a varicose vein in one side of the scrotum? That's a varicocell, B-A-R-I. C-O-C-E-L-E. -E. What is the term for the narrowing of the opening of the foreskin so that it cannot be retracted? That's phimosis. P-H-I-M-O-S-I-S. -I what is the term for a normal decrease in testosterone output after age 40? That's andropause, A-N-D-R-O-P-A-U-S-E. 
What is the term for a cyst in the epididymis containing milky white fluid and sperm? Spermatocell. S P E R M A T O C E L E. And what is the medical term for an undescended testicle? That's cryptorchism. C R Y P T O R C H I S M. Okay, I've got one more group of pathologies relating to the semen or sperm. The first one is hemospermia, H-E-M-O-S-P-E-R-M-I-A. We got the word parts hemo, spermo, and ea, and this would be the condition of blood in the semen. Then we have azoospermia, A Z O O. S P E R M I A. This is a little odd one with the word parts. We have A, we have zoo, Z O O, we have spermo, S P E R M, slash O, and then the suffix ea, I A. A zoo spermia is the condition of an absence of sperm in the semen. And then finally we have oligospermia. O L I G O S P E R M I A. Oligo means scanty or lacking. It doesn't mean total absence like A does, but oligo means scanty or low. Again, spermo means sperm, and then ea is a condition. This will be the condition of a low sperm count, meaning there's fewer than normal sperm in the semen. That's different than azoospermia, where there is no sperm at all. Okay, that covers the pathologies. Now, for the second part on procedures, there aren't very many procedures that we really need to look at. I've got four of them here for you. The first one is testicular self-examination. Testicular, T-E-S-T-I-C-U-L-A-R, self, S-E-L-F, hyphen, Examination, E-X-A-M-I-N-A-T-I-O-N. And this is a self-help step for early detection of testicular cancer. If you are a younger man between puberty and, say, age 40 or so, it is a very good idea to do this. Testicular cancer is very dangerous, and it's easily treated if it's caught early. But if not, it can have a very bad outcome. The next term is orchiopexy, O-R-C-H-I-O-P-E-X-Y. Orchiopexy is an endoscopic procedure to move an undescended testicle into its normal location. Again, notice your word parts. We have orchio, O-R-C-H-I slash O, which refers to testicle again, and then pexy, hyphen P-E-X-Y, which again means what? That's surgical fixation, right? Again, the reason to be concerned about this term is it uses the word part orchio, not orco, orchio. Then we have varicocellectomy, V A R I C O C E L E. C T O M Y. Varicocellectomy. This is the surgical removal of an enlarged vein, that is, a varicocell. Main reason to be concerned on this one, I think, again, is spelling. We've got varicocell, then we add the suffix ectomy. If you can spell varicocell, just add ectomy right onto the end of it, and then you've got the word. Finally, we have vasectomy, V-A-S-E-C-T-O-M-Y. This is the male sterilization procedure in which a small portion of the vas deferens is surgically removed. Okay, now we're going to do some practice over all of the terms I've covered. 
What is the medical term for a varicose vein in the scrotum? That would be varicocele, V-A-R-I-C-O-C-E-L-E. What is the medical term for inflammation of the glans penis? Balanitis, B-A-L-A-N-I-T-I-S. What is the medical term for a low sperm count? Oligospermia, O-L-I-G-O-S-P-E-R-M-I-A. What is the medical term for an undescended testicle? That's crypt orchism, C-R-Y-P-T-O-R-C-H. I S M. What is the self help step for the early detection of testicular cancer? That's the testicular self examination, T E S T I C U L A R, self S E L F hyphen. E X A M I N A T I O N. The absence of sperm in the semen is known as what? Azoospermia. A Z O O S P E R M I A. And what is the term for the male sterilization procedure? Vasectomy. V-A-S-E-C-T-O-M-Y. A fluid-filled sac in the scrotum is known as what? Hydrocell, H Y D R O C E L E. What is the term for an abnormal erection lasting for more than four hours that would not be accompanied with sexual excitement? That's priapism, P R I A P I S M. The absence of one or both testicles is known as what? Anorchism. A-N-O-R-C-H-I-S-M. And what is the term for an abnormally curved penis? That's Pyrone's disease, capital P, E Y, R O N I E, apostrophe S, disease. And what is the term for the narrowing of the foreskin so that it cannot be retracted? Phimosis, P H I M O S I S. And what is the term for a cyst in the epididymis containing sperm? Spermatocell, S-P-E-R-M-A-T-O-C-E-L-E. -E. What is the term for blood in the semen? Hemospermia, H-E-M-O-S-P-E-R-M-I-A. And finally, 
The surgical removal of an enlarged vein in the scrotum is known as what? That's the varicocellectomy. B-A-R-I-C-O-C-E-L-E-C-T-O-M-Y. Okay, well that covers it for the pathologies and procedures of the male reproductive system. There aren't too many in the chapter. There are more that you need to be aware of, but I've covered the hard ones, the most, most difficult ones, usually because of spelling, in a few cases because of odd word parts. This ends this episode of the Medical Terminology Podcast.